Today I am taking a look at reviews for East Bay SPCA in Oakland. Sure, why not? People are not afraid to talk shit about humane societies. Fuck them. First review was written in 2018. I am writing this review based on my experience around 2011. No, motherfucker, you cannot do that. There's like a statute of limitation. What, are you so backed up with all your Yelp reviews that it took you seven years to write this one? Fuck you. This place, whack as fuck, came here to bring my cat for adoption and got denied because they're too full. We had called a week prior asking if they were taking any cats and the person on the phone told us yes to bring him in and a week later we come in and they tell us no. Now dropping off our cat to the lake because we have no other options. This review screams, I'm an asshole and I put it in writing. You called to see if they could take your cat. They said yes. Now what do you do? You pet your cat for another fucking week till it has no more hair. Then you bring him over there and they're like, what are we going to do with this cat that has no hair? No we can't take the cat and now you're just like well I'm an asshole I'm gonna prove it to you I'm gonna drop my cat at the lake I don't care that my cat can't swim and I'm gonna blame that on you SPCA this review is based on the fact that the behavior information for cats available to be adopted is completely incorrect we adopted a cat whose bio said that he was the complete opposite of his behavior did you ever think that maybe the cat was the one who lied when he filled out the questionnaire? Oh no, of course. Better to blame the SPCA. We adopted a cat who craves attention 24-7 and has developed some serious issues in the time that he's been with us. Again, don't look at yourself, just blame it on other people. It's never you, it's always other people. All of you are awful people, that includes people from the SBCA. He has attacked my wife several times. Oh, okay, all right, I get it. Maybe it's your wife. Maybe your wife is the douchebag. This past week, he decided to lunge at her face. Okay, it's your wife's face. That's the problem. And by the way, while your wife is being attacked, are you in the office like, hold on a second, I gotta finish writing this Yelp review. I can't have typos. It really discredits my Yelp review. Just, just cover your face. Cover your face and head. I'll, I'll be right there, like in an hour or so. Neither Contra Costa County nor Alameda County has returned our calls or responded to our requests for appointments. Well, that's not surprising. Your cat's an asshole and the two of you are pussies. If you want to offload the cat what you need to do is one open the door let the cat go outside cat's not going to be able to come in because they don't have thumbs second thing you can do you write a nice little bio about your cat peanut is an amazing cat and he is so soft you write that little bio and then you just give the cat to an enemy and when the enemy calls you and says what the fuck is wrong like peanut is a psychopath then you go well i don't know peanut was great when we had him it must be you you see how you just keep it going from one person to another person make them doubt themselves make them feel like shit and this my friend is how we make the world go around thank you so much for listening to my review of your yelp review see you next time